Hello, I'm Kevin Hayes, the Story Man. Welcome to the Nightly Bedtime Story Podcast, where you can hear a bedtime story every night. Tonight's bedtime story is The Great White Bear, written by Maud Lindsay. I hope you like it. The Great White Bear, written by Maud Lindsay. Once upon a time, the tailor of Ray and the tinker of Ray went to the king's fair together, and when they had seen all the sights that were there, they started home together, well pleased with their day's outing. The sun was going down when they left the fair, and when they came to the enchanted wood through which they had to pass, the moon was rising over the hill, and a fine full moon it was, so bright that the night was almost as light as day. "'There are some people who would not venture in this wood at night, "'even when the moon is shining,' said the tinker. "'But as for me, I do not know what fear is.' "'Nor do I,' said the tailor. "'I would that everyone had as stout a heart as mine.' "'And it was just then the grandmother Gray's old white sheep "'that had wandered into the wood that eve "'came plodding through the bushes. "'Goodness me!' "'What is that?' said the tinker, clutching his companion's arm. "'A bear!' cried the tailor, casting one frightened glance toward the bushes. "'A great white bear! Run! Run for your life!' And run they did. The tailor was small, and the tinker was tall, but it was a close race between them, uphill and downhill, and into the town. "'A bear! A great white bear!' they called as they ran and everybody they met took up the cry, A bear! A bear! till the whole town was roused. The mayor and his wife, the shoemaker and his daughter, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the blacksmith, and the miller's son. Indeed, to make a long story short, everybody who was awake in the town of Ray came hurrying out of their houses to hear what the matter was. There was soon as large a crowd as went to church on Sunday gathered about the two friends and the tailor and the tinker talked as fast as they had run to tell their thrilling tale. "'We were just coming through the wood,' said the tailor. "'When they are as, as close to us as the shoemaker is to the blacksmith, we saw—' "'A terrible creature,' interrupted the tinker. "'Tis as large as a calf, I assure you.' "'And white is the mare's shirt,' cried the tailor. "'It is a marvel that we escaped, and if it had not been that I—' "'I saw it first said the tinker. But I stood my ground. I did not run till the tailor did. The two would have been willing to talk till morning, had not all the others determined to go to the wood at once and kill the bear. I cannot answer for the safety of the town till it is done, said the mayor. So everyone ran for a weapon as fast as his feet could carry him. The mayor brought his long sword that the king had given him, and the carpenter a hatchet, the blacksmith took his hammer, and the miller's son took a gun, and the rest of the men, whatever they could put their hands on. The women went, too, with mops and brooms to drive the bear away should he run toward the town, and one little boy who had waked up in the stir followed after them with stones in his hands. They very soon came to the wood, and then the question was, who should go first? Um, er, let the tinker and the tailor lead the way said the mayor, and we will come close after. Oh, no, if you please, your honor, said the tinker and the tailor, speaking at the very same time. That will never do. We cannot think of going before you. I will go first if the mayor will lend me his sword, said the shoemaker. Aye, aye, let the shoemaker go, cried some. No, no, tis the mayor's place. The king gave the sword to him, said others. Ah, uh, I could kill the bear while you were all talking about it, said the miller's son. Everyone had something to say, but at last it was all settled, and the miller's son, with the mare's sword by his side and his own gun in his hand, was just slipping into the wood when out walked the old white sheep. Ba, ba! she cried, as if to ask, Pray tell me what the stir's about. Ba, ba! "'A sheep! A sheep! A great white sheep!' cried the miller's son. And then how the people of Ray did laugh. 
They laughed and they laughed and they laughed, so loud and so long that their laughter was heard all the way to the king's fair and set the people to laughing there. But whether the tailor and the tinker laughed or not, I do not know. I hope you liked tonight's bedtime story, The Great White Bear, written by Maud Lindsay. Oh, boy. Can you imagine that sheep going back and telling her friends what happened? Well, what happened was, as I was walking through the woods minding my own business, bah, and then they said, It's a great white bear, a bear! And all the other sheep laughing, bah, ha, ha, bah, 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 bah. Mm, some people. We wouldn't have been scared of a sheep in the woods, would we? Of course, it was nighttime, and it was a full moon, and kind of dark and creepy. Oh, well, I'm sure we would have been fine. I'm Kevin Hayes, the Story Man. I'll be here tomorrow night to read you another bedtime story. But for tonight, good night.